I want to get your thoughts on this setup. It's, uh, I don't know exactly what's happening, but it's interesting. Okay, so I got a pancake coil. It's uh, uh, more than a half inch, maybe three quarters of an inch thick. It has more than one winding, so it's not really a pancake coil, but it's a huge flat coil with two, two and a half pounds of wire. It's like 150 millimeters big. It's pretty damn big. That's mounted on top of a speaker magnet. And then I have a bolt going through the pancake coil going into a catch coil, generator coil. Generator coil is just hooked up to the scope directly. It's not being powered. I'm pulsing the pancake coil with alternating polarity and I got the scope. Okay, so let's turn it on. Now, just the catch coil from that bolt going through the pancake coil, I'm catching some DC spikes, 850, 813, 810, 830, let's call it like 820 millivolts. So it's just catching that from the driver, from the prime mover. Now it's going to be hard to get it started. You got to wait till it sinks. See how it's not sinking yet? Wait till I get it right. Okay, it's starting to sync up. There we go. I got it. Now we're starting to level off. And give it a minute or two to... Okay, I think it's sunk. We got it synced up. So now we're looking good. It's in the same phase. The catch coil, the polarity this is sending versus the polarity that's sending. The catch coil is phased correctly between the two. So the magnet's pretty much amplifying what we're catching. I'm sure there's lens drag, I would assume. But I don't really know the ins and outs of this yet, but all I know is uh, it's interesting. About four, in between four to five volts, under five, I mean uh, watts, under five watts. Catching 1.84 volts usable VRMS. If we check peak to peak, volts peak to peak, we're at 8.25 peak to peak. But yeah, it's cool.